I've been hearing that some of them there fascists been saying, well, John Sandar thinks he's so good at foreign policy that he can choose a national security advisor of Chris Rock, who has no CIA, no FBI experience, no intelligence experience, no language experience. He has a GED. How could you pick Chris Rock? Well, what I'll tell you is, uh, number one, uh, Chris Rock is a smart man. I know that because he wrote multiple movies and you can tell by the way that the movies are written, this guy has a brain. Number two, people trust Chris Rock. And number three, I am so strong on foreign policy. I understand some of these little bitches been saying, well, John Zandar never worked for the CIA. John Zandar never, okay. John Zandar, Zandar, if he actually did have a job working for the FBI, would be the biggest legend in the entire FBI because of the amount of terrorists and cyber attacks I caught. And that's the thing. No one appreciates my ass. I catch the NSA at my house hacking me. You know how I caught them? I put them in a little box and I made sure that I could see that whole damn hack. And I did that on purpose because I was like, no one's going to hack me without me knowing exactly how they did it. And then next thing you know, my boss calls me in. I'm working for the Department of Homeland Security, but I'm not. I'm working for UTSA, University of Texas, San Antonio. My, 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 my roommate in my office, I share an office with a guy that wrote the president's daily briefing from the NSA. Real smart computer programmer. All right, so uh, she calls me in the office. I show up, no one's there. I'm like, all right, this is a big ass room. I'll sit down, enjoy myself, sit down. Next thing you know, a, a, like a line of people walk in, all of them in suits pretty much, well, one of them in a, in a military uniform, and they want me to work for them. So this is like two, this is like maybe three years ago. This was after I wrote my program, Big Brain Security. Okay, so John Landar ain't, ain't got national security chops, according to me, because I'm Joe Biden. Trust me, I had a job with the government. Okay, do you understand what BBS volatile IDS even means? Not the, not the BBS part, the volatile part. Okay, do, can, can you, do you even know what my program does? I wrote a computer program that was, it has been relatively successful at catching hackers. It might not work that great on Windows 10, I'm not sure. It depends on the modification that someone did to Volatility, which is a program that I, I, I work with, which is, a, which is code written by Google, and, and probably by Microsoft a little bit, but primarily by, by a guy, by some people at Google. Okay, so Joe Biden can't even understand what my program does. I have caught more hackers in a year than Joe Biden will catch in his entire life. And Joe Biden is a big target for hacks. He's been in the national security business forever. And all I'm saying is that's because I'm clever. I'm real clever. And that's why if I think that there's some fascists that took over the government that want to put me in prison, because I know exactly what they did. They used a little something called blackmail. And then they're like, all right, we're going to use blackmail and make sure we get in there and take out John Zandar. We censored him enough. No one knows John Zandar exists. You don't understand. I've been sitting on this little thing in my pocket for a long time. You think that no one believes me about Max Lucado? Dude, I know Max. Max knows me. I can go pull out some autographs by him. I got an autographed Bible of the New Century version from Max Lucado. It's upside down over there because it was actually part of my set. I wanted to have an upside down Bible since I'm Satan. And... Um, and so, but it's Max Lucado's Bible because the New Century Version is the worst version of the Bible ever written. Who wrote the Bible? Who'd you plagiarize off of? Uh, who's not allowed to have money? Who, who, who is shockingly some, like, the Wachowski, Wachowskis have listened to me and be like, you're trying to get Kat Tampa a job in case she, your, your campaign fails. You're not trying to get a job? Why, why not you? You don't have a job. I don't think you understand. I'm a career criminal. I didn't choose this job, but one day I found out, out of nowhere, that the economy depended on what I was doing and, or, or on this organization that I wasn't even a part of and I, I had slowly become a part of this organization and I realized that I had to do it or else the economy would collapse. So I was like, all right, well, I'll, I'll help you guys out. But then, like, at the same time, I found out the FBI was doing all this terrible stuff, but it wasn't just the FBI, it's a group of people. All right, so um, national security. Uh, I can tell y'all about Nigerian oil and the significance of that. I can, who can tell 
Joe Biden where our secret oil fields are in the United States. Who's not gonna tell you shit? Yeah, okay, so who's a national security expert? The guy who knows where our secret oil fields are? Because I've talked about it before. America was over important oil for a while there, and we, we hid it in the ground. Uh, the problem is with oil. With oil. Who, who's a, who knows more about oil than Joe Biden? I guarantee you. Is oil national security? Yes. Is I know more, and yes, oil is national security. Okay, so I'm, I'm, just, I'm just clarifying something real quick. Um, I do security on oil field pipelines. Like, that's the, that's the type of thing that I know about. But it's not just that I know about that. I know about actual oil. Like I know about enhanced oil recovery. I know about like like what runs our real our actual economy, which is oil. Uh, I know about alternative sources of energy. I actually understand like the computer programming behind like some of this some of this some of this pipeline stuff. Like I actually um, I, I understand how important oil is for national security. And okay, so all I'm saying is, like, it's it's kind of hard to explain how I don't have to have an official job working with the CIA to be a real expert on national security. Okay, so my friend at the end of college comes up to me and says, I, I just saw the police arresting some some people, and I, I and someone talked to me and said they just arrested some people for planning a terrorist attack. And that was at my college. Never made the news. Um, you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure I, was it a Pakistani. Caught a real good cyber attack from them. Yeah, I, I, I caught some. Uh, see, see now, see, cyber attacks are national security, and so when we're talking about like who's a national security, uh, like okay, before, okay, before I even learned about computer security, I'm sorry for changing the subject, but I was obsessed with physical security. Why? I was in the marijuana business, so I had steel doors, I had alarm system. I, I wasn't allowed to have a gun because we're in America, <laughs> not allowed to have a gun to defend your marijuana crop. But you know what I did? I learned all about security. And I had security system at my dispensary. In fact, that dispensary got robbed multiple times, but they didn't actually get anything because of our security setup. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm a physical security expert. I'm a cyber security expert. I'm a world expert. I can tell you about um, the history of South Africa. I can go all the way up. I can say, well, well, to the left of South Africa, they, that's Namibia. You got Swaziland right there in the middle. Uh, you got you got the Congo, and I can tell you all about the history of warlords in, in the Congo, and and in in uh, um, you got Senegal up there in the north northwest. I think they probably speak French there, um, but that that that's that's all all, all kind of around. So there's like Nigeria, there's the Ivory Coast. So that's all, that's the whole area where you got Boko Haram. We got to worry about kidnapping up there in the top left. Um, but in, okay, the top right, you got to worry about pirates over there. You got Somalia, you got Ethiopia, you got Eritrea, you got uh, what all you got over there? I think you got Kenya over there. Uh, you got um, Tanzania is kind of kind of down a little bit. Okay, you got um, you got Madagascar. It's an island out there on, on, the, on the east of Africa. Um, uh, okay, all, all I'm saying is like I'm the type of person that like will actually know that there was recently a bunch of people murdered. Was it, was it in Nigeria? God, I, just, I, 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 I feel like I, I pay attention to the news enough, but um, it doesn't mean that I actually paid that much of attention. But all I'm saying is like, I know about like flaring tensions in certain regions, like, like up there in the Horn of Africa. And I understand like the, the d dynamics of Christians and, and Muslims having conflict in Nigeria, um, I understand like the Tamil Tigers and their their history down there in Bangladesh, and okay, and, and I understand like the history of like um, problems between Muslims and um, and Hindus in in, in 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 India, and I understand that India is the 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 number one Muslim country in the world has the biggest Muslim population, but a lot of the time Muslims are persecuted. Um, I, I understand that like India is a p extremely peaceful country, but they still have a tendency to have like violence towards like um, minorities or and, and towards women in in, in rural areas. Uh, sexual assault is a ser serious problem out there. Um, <clears throat> I, I I understand. Uh, I understand so much about the war. I understand the history of the Korea, of Korea. 
Like, I understand, like, the Korean War and MacArthur's role in, in pissing off the Koreans and how we used to talk about nuking the Chinese. And I know exactly who the Chinese have been allies with when we fought wars in the past. And, you know, I know more about the military, like, about, about, about nuclear war than Donald Trump even right now. You know why? Because I don't talk about the things I know about nuclear war, and I've studied it. Why? Because I'm intellectually curious. So all I'm saying is, like, there is no comparison between Donald Trump and me on national security. Joe Biden, Joe Biden has more time, but Joe Biden, like, it's, it's like night and day between like the ability to think. I mean, think about it. Joe Biden's the type of person that would think that I am for Sean Hannity or for Donald Trump, even though he has read my book, even though he's heard me talk for, for years. He's the type of person that could think that I could want Sean Hannity on my team. And it's like, all right, Joe Biden, um, that tells me that you don't have the ability to use critical thinking. And that is an extremely concerning thing to me. Because there's nothing worse than the president that can't think beyond the labels. Because if there's anything that Joe Biden can't understand is how I can say that, I, 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 that, that Robert E. Lee was a hero because he doesn't understand. Okay, the South called Civil War the War of Northern Aggression. You know why? Because the North sent troops to the South. That's how the whole war started. You send troops to Texas. That, that's called the war of whatever aggression. And so all I'm saying is um, things aren't black and white. And Joe Biden wants to sit there and be like, well, the Black Lives Matter are, are, are who, who I, I followed their drum. And I'm like, all right, you know what? I agree. Police have, have, have really gone too far in this country. They're a bunch of fascists. But it doesn't change the fact that um, I'm focused on the real fascists, the, pe the people that are really taking advantage of my government, the people that have really turned America into, what, Hitler's Germany, but then everyone thinks everything's fine. It's like freaking, uh, like, uh, Brave New World type shit, but not Brave New World. What is it? Uh, what is that? What is that book? I never even read it. Fahrenheit, not Fahrenheit, for almost, no, but you're deleting blogs like that. Um, you know what I mean? Vote for me, national security president.